Some time ago, well before Newton found his apple of wisdom, lived two lovers. They were known in their village for their intense passion. Together, they built a love that was nearly perfect. So perfect, in fact, that they hardly did anything except stare into each other's eyes. Life was so good that they began to neglect their obligations, as well as their offerings to the gods. One of the grumpier gods saw their love and became jealous. He vowed to punish these two for turning away from the world and from the gods. When the dust settled, the lovers were left alone. Strangely, they could still feel the presence of their missing lover on the other side of the mountain. Some time later, a time of immense pontification and stone rubbing, a drop of honey fell from the sky. As it fell towards the world, it aged, and in so doing, solidified. The word electricity comes from the Greek word electron, which means amber. Somewhere in between the eternal pulse of birth and death, a cat was taken advantage of. Electricity is a set of physical phenomena associated with the presence and flow of electric charge. The movement of electric charge is known as an electric current. When an object has a greater number of electrons than protons, it is said to exhibit a negative charge. Since the time of the Greeks, it has been known that certain objects, like amber, can attract lighter objects when rubbed. This is known as the triboelectric effect. The prefix tribo is Greek for rub or friction. Taken literally, triboelectricity means amber friction. Objects have different desires for electrons. Some are more willing to give them up, like lazy cats who don't give a damn about electrons. Whenever two different materials rub against each other, one will leave with more electrons than it started with, the other one will leave with less. Every time they touch, electrons wander from the cat to the amber, creating a negative charge in the amber. Due to her lowered resistance to electrical flow, our lazy cat loses some of her electrons. This disparity of electrons and protons in the amber creates electromagnetic poles within the amber. One day, the two lovers could no longer bear the separation and decided to defy fate. Piezoelectricity is derived from the Greek word piezo, which means to squeeze. It translates literally as squeezed amber. If you squeeze certain crystals, you can make electricity flow through them. When a pressure is exerted on a piezoelectric crystal, this stress is converted into electrical voltage and energy flows through it. The reverse is true as well. Apply electricity to these crystals and they will vibrate back and forth, squeezing themselves. In most crystals, the basic repeating unit is symmetrical. In piezoelectric crystals, it isn't. Normally, piezoelectric crystals are electrically neutral. The atoms inside them may not be symmetrically arranged, but their electrical charges are perfectly balanced. A positive charge in one place cancels out a negative charge nearby. However, if you squeeze or stretch a piezoelectric crystal, you deform the structure, pushing some of the atoms closer together or further apart, upsetting the balance of positive and negative, and causing net electrical charges to appear. Meeting at the top, the attraction overcoming their bodies, they fell into each other's arms, squeezing together with unbearable enthusiasm. The gods, being jolted by the force of this lucent reunion, decided to enshrine them. To remind humanity of these tragic lovers, his electricity was given to the world. Today, also a time of immense pontification, you can see the piezoelectric legacy of these perfect lovers in many common applications. Sensor technology, acoustic pickups, sonar, and even the common loving spark of a piezoelectric lighter.